Good morning. Today is Friday, September 30th, 2022. We are in Surfside Beach on the south end of Myrtle Beach. So it kind of goes Myrtle Beach, you move south and Surfside, and Garden City, the Myrtle's Inlet. So last night we drove down to the beach. Just takes a couple minutes from our house to get to the beach here at Surfside. Made a little stop on the beach. It was after dark just to kind of see what it looked like. Ocean was a little rough, nothing terrible, but the city had built up some dunes to, I guess, try to stop the water from coming onto the roadways. So this morning, what is it? 7.28 a.m., 61 degrees. See if we can get back to that same spot. See how the dunes are holding up so far. Right now, we're in kind of a bit of a break. It was pretty windy and we had a lot of rain for the last several hours all overnight I heard the rain woke me up several times and I got up probably about 5 30 to start working for a little bit and wind and the rain were pretty good out back but we're in a little bit of a lull right now hurricane is still a category one I believe 80 80 miles an hour at the last update still headed towards us so we have Looks like a good bit more rain and wind to go for the rest of today. So let's just drive down and see where we are. We are on Surfside Drive right now, headed down to where the new Surfside Pier is being built. The old pier was damaged in a hurricane several, several years ago. down a little bit. There's a peek at the new pier going on. Hyena, Gracious Pig, some, what's it called, No Problema, Bubba's Fish Shack, a little bit of standing water on the road, it's nothing. Ocean's over there, what we're going to try to find is the same spot that I pulled off last night. Then let's just take a drive down here. See what we see, this area normally does pretty well and doesn't flood a whole lot, but when we get down towards Garden City, that area is a little more prone to taking on some water. frequently do this drive, this loop, come down Surfside, make a right here, go to Garden City and go back out, then go down to Merle's Inlet. So I guess that's what we'll do today. Just got a peek at the ocean to the left between a few houses. A lot of white caps out there. It looks a little rough. Conk 
Cafe on the left. I like the Cock Cafe. Good buffalo shrimp. Where is it? Right there. turn here, get back to where we need to be. I passed it. Avenue, public access number nine. This is, I believe, where we were last night. I'm going to apologize in advance for the wind noise, but there's nothing I can do about that. So here's the dune. can see they have the steps buried. I mean, they built this up several feet.
That is Garden City Pier. There we go. Back out to one. One feels a little chilly. Look at the sand. Somewhere in that direction lurks the core of Ian. We'll get back in the truck. Drive a little further south down the Garden City. See if we see any flooding. Then I have to get home and get back to work. Can you hear that dinging? Since the truck is electric, it makes very little noise. So when you back up, it makes a dinging sound so people behind you can hear you. And I have found that to be useful backing up and driving forward at low speed. I, sometimes I almost wish it did it. So I've been driving through parking lots, I've been right behind people and they had no idea I was there. Just waiting for them to, you know, to move out of the way. So 
that's to the north, back up towards Surfside. Wait for this car to go. We're gonna go to the south, towards Garden City. If you ever wondered where Easy Street was, you just found it. There it is, there's Easy Street. Oh, I'm sorry, it's right here. Is it both? Easy Street. storms. But so far, this hasn't been any worse than many thunderstorms that we get here. We get some horrendous, intense thunderstorms that pop up along our coast during the summer. We've had several this year where we've had over eight, ten, eight to ten inches of rain, you know, in the span of a day. So while this has been, I think it was about three inches of rain so far overnight on the rain gauge. I'll have to check it when, when we get home, but I think it was about that. It hasn't been any more than a lot of those thunderstorms. The clouds seem to be moving pretty fast. Can you see that? And this little causeway here that comes into Garden City, this floods quite often. There's water on both sides and at high tide frequently this will flood. like low tide now. I think high tide is around 11-ish, somewhere between 11 and 12 a.m. Yeah, let's ride down to Merle's Inlet and take a look because this is supposed to be fall bike week or, or fall bike rally. Every year down here in the Myrtle Beach area, we have two bike weeks. We also have Mustang week and you know, several other different themed weeks, but bike week draws a lot of motorcycles and they set up big like tent villages where they're all like festival stuff, selling their stuff and they all get together. So there's lots of tents and things. And I know a few days ago, Jennifer told me she drove through and they were all set up. I would imagine they took all that down by yesterday. So we'll take a quick drive down there. There's the village surf shop on the right. We'll take a look. Going for a nice drive this morning. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, as we come up to this red light here, it'd be a great time for you to click like, click subscribe. Click the little bell so you get notified when we post new videos. That would be great. We do all different types of videos on this channel. We do things like this, driving around Myrtle Beach. Lots of these little limbs and things so far down. I've seen that a lot, driving down towards the beach. I can see the wind there, pushing the palm trees a little bit. We do videos like this driving around Myrtle Beach. We also have done some videos on this truck on the F-150 Lightning. We have more to do on that. We, uh, we've had this truck for three months now. We have 7,000 miles on it. 7,037 exactly. We've driven it from here to Nashville. Still on days when I drive it around, if we stop places, I'll get in one or two conversations per day. People asking questions about it and this is, they always say, well, how do you like it? That's the first question. My answer always has been, it's the best vehicle I've ever bought. It's the best vehicle I've ever driven. It truly is. Rides fantastic, super smooth, very quiet. You can have conversations inside the truck easily with people because there's so, so little, there's no engine noise, so little noise. 
And what I've noticed, even driving at slow speeds through you know parking lots and things like that, with the windows down, I can hear conversations. And a lot of times those conversations will be, I'll hear, I'll hear people say, oh, look, that's the Lightning. That's the new electric F-150. Because it's the first one. It's still the first one I've ever seen outside of the, the tester that they have down here at Myrtle Beach Ford or Beach Ford. They sold me this one and they have that. I don't know that they've sold another one yet. They may have. It's been three months. Here we go. This is the Garden City area. Texas Roadhouse on the left. This place is always packed with like at least a 45 to an hour wait. I think that's about every time we've ever been, at least during the tourist season. Inlet sign looks a little damaged. Suck, bang, and blow. Yeah, the big tent's still low. Huge biker bar, suck, bang, and blow. So the festival normally extends from there, from Suck, Bang and Blow, down here to the Beaver Bar, which we'll see on the right. So typically all this on the left, this is all tents and festival-y type stuff. And it's all, none of it's up, smartly. See some framing here for some of the tents. There we go, that's something's up. They were brave and left theirs up. Oh, more? We'll see how that all fares over the next few hours when the core of the storm gets closer and I suspect our winds will pick up a little bit more.
good gift shop. Wahoos, we like Wahoos. Drunken Jacks, what else? Jay Peters, Creek Rats. This is the restaurant district down here, the Marsh Walk. There's a little boardwalk called the Marsh Walk right out back. Let's uh, go take a look. the claw house i like the claw house great lobster tacos calamari we have on our floppy hat let's go for a walk I think that's about it. I think we're like at 30 minutes. It's longer than I wanted to make a video. I think we got a good drive out of it. So that's our current situation. Down here in the south end of Myrtle Beach, Surfside, Garden City, Myrtle's Inlet. Took a little driving tour of all of them. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, click like, click subscribe, click the bell so you get notified when we upload new videos. I'm hoping to do another one in a few hours we'll kind of see out what the weather does how it goes but, uh, I gotta get back home get to work on a project I'm trying to get finished up today I needed to get out and see what was going on so thanks and uh, have a great day